Taiwan issued the warnings of a possible war with China Taiwan's president and foreign minister both raised warnings on Chinese invasion of their island. The officials issued the warnings of a possible war with China after Beijing flew a record number of military planes into Taiwan's air defense identification zone president of Taiwan said if Taiwan were to fall. The consequences would be catastrophic for regional peace and the democratic alliance system it would signal that in today's global contest of values, authoritarianism has the upper hand over democracy China considers democratically governed Taiwan a renegade province. President Xi Jinping, widely seen as China's most powerful leader since Mao Zedong, has vowed to reunify the island and he hasn't ruled out the use of military force to do so the almost 150 sorties flown by the People's Liberation Army over four days represented Beijing's most aggressive military posturing to date with Taiwan, and they drew warnings from the Biden administration. USA repeat its stance that they will continue to assist Taiwan in maintaining a sufficient self-defense capability. USA also urged Beijing to cease its military, diplomatic, and economic pressure and coercion against Taiwan. Taiwan's foreign minister Joseph Wu said his country was preparing for China to launch an invasion. We are very concerned that China is going to launch a war against Taiwan at some point. He added. The defense of Taiwan is in our own hands, and we are absolutely committed to that, he further added. If China's going to launch a war against Taiwan, we will fight to the end. I'm sure that if China is going to launch an attack against Taiwan, I think they are going to suffer tremendously as well. On October 1st, as modern China celebrated the 72nd anniversary of its founding, 38 People's Liberation Army aircraft flew close to southwest Taiwan before circling back. The next day, Chinese planes flew 39 more sorties. Sunday saw 16 more flights, all following a similar path. On Monday, Taiwan's defense ministry said another 52 Chinese military planes had entered the island's air defense zone by far the most ever in a single day bringing the total over four days to 145 flights. Taipei has scrambled its own aircraft in response, issued radio warnings and deployed air defense missile systems as it monitors the Chinese aircraft. Taiwan, and it's approximately 24 million people, a population on par with Australia's, consider the island a sovereign nation. The U.S. and its allies try to walk an incredibly fine line. A pledge to defend Taiwan from external threats is literally written into U.S. law, but Washington also does not treat Taiwan as an entirely independent nation. Under the 1979 Taiwan Relations Act, passed by the U.S. Congress, Washington is obligated to support Taiwan's defense capabilities against China. I in August. The Biden administration approved its first arms sales to Taiwan a $750 million proposal that includes Hoitzer artillery units, armored vehicles and machine guns. Trump administration in 2020 approved a $1.8 billion arms deal to Taiwan. Past sales have also included fighter jets and missiles. Taiwan's Foreign Affairs Ministry provided a statement saying it was deeply grateful that the Biden administration took the initiative to issue this statement over the weekend to condemn China's provocative actions and reiterate its commitment to Taiwan. Please subscribe our channel. After watching this video, good luck.